da, da, da. No, we can't see the sign. <coughs> <coughs> Almost. So it's the old steam railway and uh, see, between school holidays and things like bank holidays and things like that we have it open but um, normally it's closed like this so you just wander around and see exactly what's going on. So that's quite a cool shot. Sort of silhouette. -y. I've got one shot with a train coming down, which is quite cool, and um, there was another train in the station on the left-hand line, sort of the station part, and um, he was waiting to come up, the other one was going straight past. And uh, I hadn't got a ticket or anything, but the uh, one of the guys on the train, the guardsman, he said uh, I could lean out the window and look straight up the track, because it's the only way you can get the photo, unless you're still on the track, and they won't let you do that, obviously. So we're going to shoot some detailed shots today, I think. Uh, obviously I use function button to change my focus points very quickly. Um, that's how quickly you can use the thing. But I use that with all my uh, Sony cameras. And then uh, you just, they just, you know, it's really, really easy to adjust everything. That function button there just stops you having to go in the menus all the time. You can do so much um, sort of adjustments really quickly. Um, it's actually really, really cool, and just makes life a lot, a lot easier to, um, to sort of get your shots. This old crane here it looks like a, I think it's an old crane, train crane. <coughs> it's kind of cool. Can't see it. It's places like this that are sort of teeming with wildlife, but they're not used to humans, so you kind of have to. Uh, there he is. Just looking for stuff like this, so you've got the um, sun coming through that broken sort of window. Just uh, this back there, it's got a lot of glare coming off it due to the um, 
the sun, it's sort of reflecting through the crack as such. But it's really cool. Uh, what I like about this, you've got you've got your wheel for focusing, but also you've got your little lever backwards and forwards. So generally, I use that one just when I'm zooming in and out, yeah, just normally. But if I'm doing some more sort of precise stuff, I'll use the wheel, uh, the ring. Oh, look at that. Oh, is, he gonna, is he gonna come back because he's circling? Buzzard, I think. There he is. Yep. Burst. Depends if he spotted me. That's the question. Is that bothered? He's moving away though. Oh, damn. Looks like a bridge. <coughs> Another bridge. Showing a bit of scaffolding behind, but if we crouch down enough, we might be able to get rid of it. Oh, just about. Let's have a quick nose on there, isn't there? Hello. Oh, Lovely church, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I've, I've been living around this place for years, nearby, and didn't even know it was here. Yeah, and then until church. someone said to me, "Have you been to Bodium Church?" I'm like, "No, where the hell's that?" <laughs> yeah. well, I've only come here because my brother's buried over there. So. Oh right. Uh, it's just a beautiful cement. It's very really quiet too. Yeah, no, it's lovely. Until we start the motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> the troubles with that one, was it? He's had trouble, yeah. Oh, no. He left his light on, it flattened the battery. Oh, it doesn't take long, I suppose, on small batteries. Yeah, it's <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's okay. Anyway. So I've lived around this area for my whole life and I didn't even know this church was here. You can't see it from the road, it's just completely hidden. And um, this could be a really cool place to come at night time. By the looks of it, there's a bit of wildlife as well. So, but we've got plenty of um, snowdrops at the moment. It's kind of cool, but I think there's a bucket there or some sort, is it? There's a bee. Ah, must be warm. Bees are back out. Anyway. This is good.
Just spot focus. There's quite a bit of buggage around, it's quite cool. Little flies all coming out in the sunshine. That one bee, where is he? Yeah, what a cute little sort of build, old building. I'm far from religious, I'm not a religious man really. Um, but I do find old buildings like this uh, very fascinating, plus all the old, obviously the graves and things like that. You know, I mean, it's like that one there with the, the hole through it. If we can get some light through it kind of thing, that'd be quite cool. Over some starry, starry shots. That's really cool. You've got the lich gate there. And the road is literally just there. So I've been driving up here. You can't even see it. You don't even know. It's been there a long, long time. Do you think they're the two most romantic um, headstones ever, possibly, that they've almost come together? And then there's this one behind bars. It's kind of a shame, really. Going in. <clears throat> Once you're dead, you're dead in in, in all reality. So yeah, unfortunately the trees, the trees, the trees are blocking the sun a little bit, but it means I'm down lower below below these um, snowdrops. It means I can actually shoot up to them, which is kind of what you need to do. And there's plenty of light, so you get some lovely shooting through the, uh, the grass. You can see the sort of bokeh on the wet grass. Right, <clears throat> on the way home I've just popped to the uh, the castle just to see, because I think the moat might be quite mirror-like. Actually there's a little bit of um, ripple in it, it's not too bad. Well, there is a reflection, but it ain't all that good. That side's alright.
so with the action shots of the ducks flying a second ago, basically I had it in high, uh, which is 24 frames a second, but also full uh, focus tracking, um, which works obviously pretty well. I think it missed a couple of shots, but I won't really know until I get home. Um, that's it, so what a beautiful day. Let's uh, carry on wandering and I'll see you a bit later. So guys, it did miss a few shots. I mean, it's shooting 24 frames a second. Um, it missed probably out of around about 100 shots, probably of the birds banking around, probably about eight or nine, which wasn't too bad. But my shutter speed was too slow. Um, a couple of them where they were beating their wings and actually rotating too quick. Um, so I got a little bit of motion blur. Um, which well, it's, it kind of adds a bit of movement. Um, also, the bokeh in the background there is actually a vineyard, so that's all ropes and um, bars and things up in the, in, in the field there, um, which is a shame. Um, but then when it did lock on, uh, and let's like say it missed around about eight um, in total, um, just went for the background for some reason. I think what happened was it, the bird went too far out of the zone kind of thing and it just locked onto the background for a second plus I was trying to track and move with them and I didn't know which way they were going to go so um, this shot here is kind of cool coming into land a little bit of water dropping uh, off its foot let's say another missed shot there um, don't really know why but you know it's still I mean it's doing stuff that you know reaction speeds I mean these ducks are probably doing anywhere between 50 and 60 miles an hour at you so you know the fact that the camera's still focusing at that speed is it's pretty impressive I think anyway um, <clears throat> but yeah another good one here random he literally banked left and then was doing his random <laughs> it's almost like dancing in the air um, but made kind of a cool shot which is which is pretty cool um, but uh, yeah and then um, uh, just went back to doing a few sort of uh, static shots as such um, this duck here um, it was obviously starting to become me uh, mating season because there are lots of male ducks after the one or two uh, female ducks um, last shot of sort of winter I guess with the last well, the last bit of autumn I suppose one leaf still hanging on um, and obviously the buds are starting to come now so it's a you know a full circle uh, plane flying past the moon um, the moon is very, very faint uh, in the sky, and obviously it's until it got high enough, um, sort of through the atmosphere or whatever, that I could see it properly. Um, it's very difficult to actually get, um, you know, a shot on of that sort of thing. Um, this tree here actually quite light, and I've been going for this, going to the castle for years, and that shape of the actual tree and everything looked really cool, and I've never really noticed that before. Um, it's just down to the light at the time, I think. Um, so I'm going to be going at night time, and I might try and do some light painting with that tree at some point so that could be quite good um, and then a bud so these are little buds obviously that spring has started to happen now so um, just sort of take a relatively you know detailed shot there um, all these are straight out of the camera by the way there's no editing uh, or processing as such the only thing I have checked is auto levels on Photoshop quickly just to see if it's corrects it very much and half the time it either goes too bright or doesn't do anything anyway so um, just some bark here which is I just thought like the shadows and the textures was quite cool uh, and then a, a shadow selfie as such but the colors in the water was really cool because that's actually the sandstone of the uh, the castle there so that worked quite cool um, anyway guys please subscribe please click the notification bell and that was just a, a wander around three different locations um, and uh, and then just enjoying the sunshine. It was lovely and warm. Um, anyway, so I'll see you soon.